Hello again. This is a more detailed account of just one of the many issues raised in my main video, which I suggest you watch next if you haven't seen it already. You'll find a link in the text below and at the end. So, here we go. This is how it arrived from the Swift factory, with a rat's nest of cabling, loops of cable just waiting to get caught and items put in the lockers, cables pulled tight in places so that they were strained when the caravan flexed as they do when driving, or expands and contracts as the temperatures change on scorching days in Spain or freezing temperatures in winter in the Scottish Highlands. This almost guarantees years and years of problems. And the sort of electrical problems caused by cables being strained or intermittent make and break issues at connectors can be a nightmare to track down. I used to be the technical director of a company designing and manufacturing industrial robots for harsh environments. These were machines packed with wiring. They were in constant motion and undergoing vibration and changes in temperature. Indeed, very much like a caravan. We had to take a lot of care with cable run design and ensure high standards of build quality in order to ensure long-term reliability. And I can tell you that people like the Ford Motor Company don't take prisoners if a machine in their production process is unreliable. And so, eventually, you have failures. My previous Bailey caravan hadn't been like this, and much of the wiring had been hidden and protected. The question was what to do about it. Swift had acknowledged that it wasn't up to a very good standard, but that was it. So the dealer wasn't going to do anything about it, and it left it to me. So let me show you what I did. First of all, I tied it all up with tie wraps, and then installed protection. Let's see what I did under the, uh, this underseat blocker. Potentially, connectors. These are outside connectors. That's a, a mains connector. And all that cabling and the connectors, which is main, includes mains, are vulnerable to uh, things being thrown about in the caravan when you're travelling. So I put in baffles. Here's one. This is the front of an old uh, drawer from a, a freezer cabinet. So I bolted it in to the floor, and now that is protecting against things bouncing, bouncing around as you're traveling. Let's look at the cabling in this cupboard under here, which I'll use as a shoe cupboard. So, here you're throwing shoes in here and they'll bounce around while traveling and you can see there I've screwed in another front piece from an old freezer drawer and another bit there because behind all that there's a complete rat's nest of loose cables. Of course there's now a problem that if anything, any pencils or things fall behind here, they go down <laughs> behind those baffles and you can't get to them. And things did roll off here because it was just a, a flat, uh, a flat piece of board with no edging. So I don't know if you can see here, I've glued an aluminium edge on there, which does effectively stop things going down the back. Let's look under the seat on the other side. Well, lots of cabling in here and the electrical control unit. And so to protect the cabling in here, I've put in this box, which I've screwed to the floor. And this box, in fact, holds the spare parts for this caravan, a whole mass of <laughs> bits and pieces that I've had to use over time, uh, adhesives and goodness knows what else. But at least it's all safely stored there and can't thrash around as you drive. 
And here's another location where there was lots of loose wiring. So in this cupboard, which is just behind the wheel arch, I keep stuff in here. Can you see yet another bit front piece from a freezer shelf? Because there's cabling going down there, going down behind here. And a lot of it was pulled tight and so you couldn't tuck away carefully. So behind here, this way, can you see that behind here is all the cabling and I've screwed this baffle down. Well, there you go.